Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Abe Hamada. Arizona loves its fighters, don't they? And you know, today's a very special day for one of Arizona's toughest fighters. I don't know if you knew this, but today is the birthday of Arizona's next senator, Carrie Lake. Believe me, she's the most courageous and loyal woman I know, and we are going to get her elected. I'm Abe Hamaday. I'm a former prosecutor, and I'm a former captain and intelligence officer in the United States Army Reserve. And today, I stand before you as your next congressman. And I know our country is worth fighting for, and that's exactly why we're all here today. What we've witnessed over the past four years, what we've witnessed over the past four years is an unprecedented attack on the American people and the very foundations of our country's principles. The radical left has infiltrated every aspect of our lives. And it's not just the government we're fighting. It's the entrenched political class who have enriched themselves at the expense of the American people. It's the corporations who want to shove their woke agenda down our throats. It's the propagandists in the media. You see them back there? It's the propagandists in the media who want to divide us and hide the truth. Now make no mistake, we are at war with the radical left. And that's why it's time to elect President Trump and Kerry Lake so we can go back on offense. Our southern border is a war zone, and it's wide open. And that's why on day one, when I'm elected to Congress, I'm going to work with President Trump and our new Senator Kerry Lake to designate the drug cartels as a foreign terrorist organization. We have to. They are destroying our communities with the plague of fentanyl coming in from the communist Chinese. They are bringing in millions of illegals across our border, and they are even funneling in terrorists. If there is one war we should be fighting, it's to defend our homeland against these barbarians. Sadly, it's not just the border that's a mess. The radical left has created all sorts of other problems. Our elections have been hijacked. Our justice system has been weaponized. And our cities have turned into Gotham. It's time we restore law and order. It's time we hold those who seek to destroy our country accountable. I want justice for what they've done to us. It's time we lock up these crooks and put handcuffs on them. Now, the media loves to lie about us, don't they? Believe me, I know. But the truth is, the America First movement is all about putting giving a voice to the forgotten men and women of our country. We want a secure border again. We want cheap gas again. We want affordable groceries again. We want to preserve Social Security. And we want to restore American jobs and not send them overseas. 
And most importantly, we want fair and honest elections. And there's only been one man to take on this fight before. Only one man that has risked everything to stand up for the American people and say that America is no longer for sale. And that man is President Donald J. Trump. And he has never stopped fighting for us. He took a bullet for us and he will never surrender. They lie about him, they try to bankrupt him, they've tried to jail him, and they've even tried to kill him. And yet he still stands because he knows America is worth fighting for. You know it and I know it. We could feel it in our gut that what happens this election will determine our country's future for the next century. In Arizona, we are in the 11th hour, and they will try to stop at nothing to keep President Trump out of that Oval Office. But they can't stop this America First movement. Arizona, you know me as the happy warrior, but I'm also a pissed patriot too. I say I'm a happy warrior because the best warriors fight for what they love. And I love my country. And I will always fight for the America we remember. Now, every day I think about what they've done to so many of our friends like Steve Bannon, like Rudy Giuliani, like Peter Navarro, and so many others. And right here in Arizona, we have an illegitimate attorney general going after 18 Republican friends of ours simply for fighting for the truth. Their hubris and lawlessness has no limits. And just for being here at this rally today, all of you have become a threat and therefore a target. And I don't say this to make you feel like victims. I say this to empower you. You are a threat. You are a threat to their corruption. You are a threat to their power. And you are more powerful than you can ever even imagine. And that is why I'm asking you to stand with President Trump, Kerry Lake, and the entire America First movement all across our country. I'm asking you to join us in battle as we fight to save the America we love and restore the principles that made America the greatest country in the history of mankind. We owe it not only to future generations, but to every single American that has shed blood for our country from Lexington and Concord, to the beaches of Normandy, to the mountains of Afghanistan, to the deserts of Iraq. But most of all, we owe it to ourselves. We owe it to ourselves to be able to say that we answered our country's call in the darkest of hours. Arizona, are you ready to answer that call? Arizona, are you with me? Are you with Kerry Lake? Yeah. And are you with President Donald Trump? Yeah. And we are with you now and forever. So this November, let's give them a November to remember. Thank you, Arizona. Thank you, President Trump. And may God bless the United States of America. Mike.